welcome to my floss tube channel thread the needle my name is Vani and uh, thank you for joining me here for vlogmas day nine uh, we're making our way through it aren't we so we're gonna start with my coffee of the day and today it's a pretty good one mmm yeah yep yeah. this is caramel Nutella like I'm not I'm not even joking. I don't know where they're coming up with their flavors. And I also don't remember this one last year, this flavor. So maybe my memory is shot and I can't remember. And I really did have all these exact same flavors, but I don't remember this one. And there was one from a previous day that I didn't remember as well. Hmm. But this one is nice. Very, very cool. Okay. So let's jump right into the uh, gift exchange from my friends. I'm going to go for this one, very sweetly wrapped, let me untie the knot there, uh, I may not be able to untie it so easily, I'm just going to rip right through it, okay. first off, it's a candy cane, can never have too many candy canes. Oh, look at this. Do you know what this is? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's a, like a, I'm going to call it a needle cozy. So you put your needles in there and you snap them in and it's good for like, you know, storing them or traveling with them in your project bag. So that's wonderful. I really like that. So for example, I don't have any needles here with me. I still have my tongs that I was using, but <clears throat> for example, let's pretend these were needles. I guess you would put them nicely in there, right? Very nice. Thank you so much. So this, I really like the material too. Look at that. Can you see? And I like the, the snap buttons. They snap very securely and the fabric on the inside too is really nice a pink polka dot thank you okay now my wax melt of the day we're looking for number nine which is right here oh another nice color it's like a rosy pink We have another Santa. I don't know if it's better if I hold it farther away or closer. Can you tell the design? Uh, let's see for number nine. That smells like something I know, but the name of it is it's not ringing any bells. It's called Sakura. S-A-K-U-R-A. But it smells so amazing. I'm trying to figure out, I, I know this scent, but not that word. I can't place it, but it is divine. It's really, really lovely. So that's fun. Uh, next, we're gonna move on to um, the stitching part of the day. Mm. So yesterday I was tasked with working on Autumn Owl Trio, and the challenge that I gave myself was to stitch on uh, one detail and try to finish it. Now, if I had planned ahead, I probably could have finished the detail that I picked, but I wasn't really paying attention. And so this is Autumn Owl Trio. This is what I stitched on, and I decided to continue stitching on the eye. So I'm going to show you what I got done, and then I'm going to explain to you what happened. So here's how much I got done last night. And so if I had been proper and just stitched like this area here going in from this side out here, I probably would have gotten the actual eye done. But what I did was I got a little excited and as soon as I picked a color that 
gave me the outline of the eye. I stitched that and then by the time I finished that it was getting late and I was like, all right, this is all I can manage. But I'm still happy with how much I got done. And it's starting to look so adorable. I was debating, did I want to pick the eye or did I want to pick the coffee cup or did I want to try and find the wing or the body? And I was just really trying to figure out. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll just go back over here and pick this eye. And I was like, you know what? I just want to get to this this one. It kind of looks like a, a raccoon mask now. So I just love this owl. Like this shade of fuchsia purple is my shade. Like that is my ultimate favorite shade. I have multiple versions of it in my nail polish. I have multiple versions of it in my clothing. It is my shade, that purpley fuchsia color. Love it. So this owl is one of my favorites. So I decided to stick with it and start the eye. So I think the next time when it comes around in my regular rotation, I think I might uh, just try to finish this before I get back into the diagonal. But always a fun stitch. Really, really fun stitch. So that's wonderful. Now, next up in my project selection was between Golden Promises and Under the Sea. So the way I did it was I have eight sets of projects and then I put a poll on my Instagram stories to have you guys help me decide uh, which project moved forward. So of these eight sets of project, these are the eight that won. Then the eight that didn't move forward here, I put them, started putting them up here. Then put these in a row again here. So it was Golden Promises and Undersea were the first two that weren't selected in the first round. So I pitted those two against each other and you all picked Golden Promises. My all-time favorite to work on. Love working on her. So let's see what challenge I get and let's see if it's something that will really work well with me. Okay, fingers crossed. All right, why am I so nervous? Oh, I don't know. Let's see how this works with this one. Okay, so this says stitch the color with the most number of stitches. Can you read that? Yeah. So I'm going to stick within, I think where I am in the project is I'm trying to finish that end of the column there. So in that within that area, I'll try and figure out what has the most number of stitches left, or I just might pick the color that has the most number of stitches left in the entire project, but stitch only in that area. I think that's the best way to go about it. So that's going to be a fun stitch, I think, today. So I'm looking forward to that one. Mm. Golden Promises. That's going to be a lot of fun. So I can't wait to share that with you tomorrow for day 10. Oh my goodness, day 10. I can't believe we're at day 10. Tomorrow, not today, tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Happy holidays. Bye.